So for this craft, I'm going to be using three of these Dollar Tree crates. And I have come to really like these little crates um, better than the ones I originally used in one of my older videos when I made a jewelry holder because it doesn't have the little holes. It doesn't have the space in between the wood planks. And I really like this design better. And these are much bigger as well. So I'm going to go in using this super glue wood glue and you guys i have never used this so i don't know how good it will work um i also have these little arrow planks as well and i have two different ones one is what wider and one is longer with the actual bottom parts of the arrow and the bigger one doesn't have it so i'm just gonna take them and see how i want them to lay because i don't want it to be too close but i don't want it to look awkward as well so I'm just deciding which I want to use or do I want to use them both together. So naturally I decided on the one with the bottom piece because it does stand taller and I think it will look better for my backing. So I actually had already put some of the super glue onto the crate and I just stuck the back on there that I chose. And I actually like this glue, you guys, because it worked super fast. Um, I'm not going to say that it was completely dry fast, but the crate was definitely, like, in place. I'm thinking because it was the first one and it was actually sitting flat on the desk, so it didn't move. Um, so I naturally really, really like that glue. So I'm going to take and see how I'm going to position my second crate as well as the third because I don't want it to look awkward again like I said I do want it to look cute not too much as showing the arrow because the arrow is just the backing that I decided to use from the Dollar Tree so I'm not going to place glue all over the um back part of this tray which I, when I first did it, I was not thinking, and I did that. Um, and I had to wipe a lot of glue off of the bottom part when naturally I should have just outlined the arrow and then placed the crate, but I didn't do that. Um, again, I'm not perfect. I think I say this in just about all of my DIY videos, but lesson well learned. So on the second crate, it did not stick as well, so I did have to go in and use clamps to hold it in place so that it wouldn't keep sliding down. And you can actually see the extra glue on the bottom where I did place way too much glue. Now I'm just gonna, I was gonna completely remove the rope but I decided to cut off the bottom part of the string and actually just hot glue it to the top so that it's actually beside um, the top part of the string just because I decided by me having this little string, I can use two options. I can either set it on top of the countertop or I can actually take and hang it on the wall. Just depends on how it will, how much space it'll take up on the countertop. So I just placed a little dab of hot glue on the wood and laid the rope on top of it. And it was just that simple. Now for my third shelf, I am trying to decide if I want to put it higher where it sits up higher or do I want to place it directly on the arrow. So that's what I decided to do. So I, instead of putting the glue on the crate, I decided to place some glue on the um, triangle part of the arrow. That way, like I say, it's not 
a whole bunch of excess glue that didn't need to be used. So now that I have my top shelf placed, I'm just taking a look back to make sure everything is even and to my liking. And I was not liking the way the middle shelf was sitting. Um, in a way, it looked like it was even, but to my eyes, I was like, no. So I tried to just pull it up, but the glue was actually starting to stick a little. So I just pulled it off and placed a little more glue on there so that I know it will bond better. And then I just placed the crate back on there. I think what I should have did was laid it down flat and then um, placed my crates, but I wanted you guys to see as I placed the crates. I mean, what's the purpose of the video if you guys can't see what I'm doing? So by me placing the extra glue, it did make it very, very slippery so once i felt like it was where i wanted it to be i instantly went ahead and held the back part so that i can get my clips back there um i will say i hate that i use these little plastic um, clips i should have used my little metal ones because they do clamp harder um and i feel like it would have dried up a little faster As you see, it did start slipping yet again because I only put the one clip. Don't know what I was thinking, but yeah. So I did catch it and I went ahead and fixed it. By adding yet another clamp to it. I think my daughter kind of threw me off. She kept coming in my room bothering me. So I'm going to blame her there. So I'm going to let this sit for a while until it dry. And then I'm going to be using this black. Well, it's not even black. It's pavement um, acrylic paint. And I've used this before on one of my older, older videos when I tried to make a... DIY um, cardboard fireplace um, in my house and I really like the way this color is because it's like it's a color between gray and black so it might look a little dark but it's not as dark as it seems it's more of a like the pavement outside I say but a little darker to me
So I'm just going to go over the crates with this black paint. And the good thing about it, it is so um, thick and rich. I don't think I would need more than one coat. So I'm just going to take my time and paint it. Um, I wasn't going to paint the bottom, but the way I did it, if I decide to hang it, I don't want the unfinished wood to show. So I went ahead and painted the bottom as well as I'm going to paint the insides. And once it dry, I'm going to see how it looks. And if I feel it needs a little touch up somewhere, then I'll give it another coat. But if not, I'll just leave it be.
So this is actually just one coat. And I'm going to be using these um, stickers I also got from Dollar Tree. And as you see, they're just pretty much labels for all types of different things. So I'm going to go in and use the coffee, the tea, and the sweeteners to label my shelves. Because that is exactly where I'm going to place my items. And it was just as simple as sticking the label on there. I really like these labels because I didn't need any extra glue and they were really just like um, the adhesive on the back was really, really good. It wasn't too much, it was just enough. And again, I know my labels were not straight, but um, in case I decide to change them later on down the line, Therefore, my kitchen, I'm not selling this. Um, I'm not giving it away, even though my daughters were like, oh, mama, make me one. And I really love doing these kind of things. So when they want me to make some something, I will. Um, I've actually thought about um, making an Etsy shop because I really like to make things, you guys. So um, these are the little creamers i use um i use the limpton tea bags and i just love them because they already come in a little container but um i thought about putting the whole little container down in there which it probably wouldn't look no different um but i just took them out individually and set them in there i have my coffee pots to the top and then i just have my sweeteners to the bottom now i will say that i was not able to get as many coffee pots in there as i was thinking but i don't drink as much coffee so i have like a single serve i will have a single serve coffee machine i don't currently have one because my daughter was cleaning up doing her spring cleaning and i hadn't drunk coffee in a while because my surgery I was still healing from surgery, so she decided she was going to go and give it away. But, yes, this is my completed coffee holder. Um, and I can't wait to complete my full coffee bar. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video because, of course, you guys know I enjoyed making it for you. And I will see you guys next time. If you guys have not already... Please be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys can know when I post and leave your comments down below. Thank you guys.